D9085, since we've last spoken, I've heard you've been through an ordeal. You quite all right? I'm not sure what you're referring to, Doctor. Can you please recall how you began working with Pellis? I... I cannot, Doctor. I only know that I work there now. That's quite normal for someone in your... position. Nothing to be concerned of. What has been your experience when you sleep now? Pretty dull dreams. Just working pretty much constantly as an assistant operations manager for Pellis. It's just like real life, if I had a job in an office building, that is. What are the differences? Well, I can't exactly leave the building. There are no windows or other visible exits anywhere, and the hallways seem to loop endlessly. I don't think there are stairs, an elevator, or an exit of any sort. Please elaborate on the kind of assistant managerial work you do. What exactly does the Pellas company do? Truthfully, I have no idea. I remember doing the work, but I remember very little of the nature of it. As far as I can tell, Pellas employs people like me to employ them and nothing more. As far as I can remember, hiring and firing seems to be the extent of their operations. And how are your weekend dreams? I will say, you all didn't lie about the nature of the payment. The dreams are pretty nice, and they change constantly to keep things fresh. I've had some dreams where I'm partying and enjoying nightlife like I were a free man again. Some nights, I'm doing something more peaceful, like enjoying the wonders of nature on a long, calming walk, or something similar to that. And other times. And other times what? Sometimes, I eat real nice food. Oh. Sounds very pleasant. I've never tasted anything sweeter. Very good. Keep working diligently for Pellas for the time being and make sure your employment with him is not terminated. We hope to gather more data on the company with your assistance, so don't screw up. Understood. Good evening, Omar. Oh, hello there. Can I help you with something? I'm not sure the question is what you can do to help me. It's more of what I can do to help you. Are you the new account, Palisard? I knew they were looking for someone since they fired Greg, but didn't think they'd have someone so quick. Are you from my department's expense records? I don't have them quite together yet, but I can email you the files by the end of the workday. <laughs> I'm here for something much bigger than expense reports. The quarterly review? That shouldn't be due for at least another couple of weeks. No, 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 not the quarterly review. I'm not here on any Pellis business. You don't work for Pellis? No, I don't work for Pellis. Not anymore, at least. Then what are you doing here, Mr... You can call me Richard. Well, I'm taking a shine to that name. But you might have heard of me referred to as SCP-990, where you're from. You're an SCP? I'm already in an SCP inside of my own head. What are you doing here, and what are you? We have a few things to discuss, you and I. If you'd be so kind as to follow me, I can explain it further. I promise I mean you no harm. Look, Richard, I don't know what you want exactly, but I don't have time to walk the halls right now. I have a lot left to take care of before the shift's over and have specific instructions to not get fired from this job. Now, I better follow those orders unless I want to end up being a morse for a fat old SPOA2 or something even more gruesome. Omar, what I have to tell you is far more important than any palace work you have at hand. Please trust my judgment and come with me. Can't help you, buddy. Let's talk another time. Do you care to find out what they're keeping from you? Who you are and who this Amos is to you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Please, come with me. Let's take a walk. No point in wandering the halls aimlessly. We could just talk in my office. I don't plan on walking aimlessly, Omar. Especially not in this stuffy building. Well, there's not exactly a way out of this place unless you plan on busting through these walls. They sound pretty thick and sturdy to me, though. Well, I don't plan on doing anything that barbaric. This way, please. What? I've been walking these halls for months and never found an exit. How did you just- Ah, we don't have time for such insignificant questions. We have too much to discuss.
So what exactly has the Foundation been lying to me about? Who am I and who is Amos? Please listen to me carefully. These things aren't simple. I can't hand all the answers to you. That's not my place in all of this. However, I am here to give you the information you need to figure everything out. I'm here to guide and warn you. That's my role. Your role? Are you saying the Foundation put you up to this or something? No, 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 nothing of that sort. The Foundation currently has no way to contain me, so I can't be kept under their thumb. No, I speak of my role in the events to come, the events involving you. Involving me? There's no doubt you've had your run-ins with plenty of horrifying monsters given the SCP label. But you have to know that not every sentient being given the label is necessarily bad, right? Of course. I'm one of the good ones, Omar. I work to help to prevent bad things from happening. While I'm powerless to affect the outcomes myself, I can deliver the necessary information to those who can do what I can't. Powerful people with the influence and resources to prevent catastrophe from occurring as I've foreseen. I'm a middleman for preventing chaos and destruction. You understand? More or less, I suppose, but what exactly does this have to do with me? Well, since its conception, I've chosen to appear almost exclusively to Foundation personnel, as the Foundation has had the resources and the drive to want to prevent world-ending scenarios from occurring. This time, however, going to them would only perpetuate the outcome. And that's why I've come to you. Why me? You. The you you don't remember. You have an integral role to play in the events to come. But you'll be unable to perform your role in your current state of incarceration, so you're going to have to break out. Break out? Are you insane? If the Foundation's listened to you in the past, why not tell them to release me? Wouldn't that be easier? I'm afraid this time it's not that simple. The Foundation has other plans for you. Ones that they'll only focus on to a greater extent should I tell them the threat on the horizon. Even though that'll be the wrong decision. Approaching you directly is the only course of action. How the hell am I supposed to escape the Foundation? I'm one man against potentially hundreds of armed guards in a seemingly impenetrable compound. Well, for starters, you won't be going at it alone. You'll have assistance. From who? Look, when you seek it, when you need it, the assistance will be at your side. Now, I won't provide all the details about what's to come, but I will provide you with a few details that you'll need to help you on your quest. So listen carefully. Understood? I suppose so. If you're for real, I'm all in. I'm ready to get out of the Foundation's grip. Excellent. You're meant for great things, Omar. Don't let your destiny down. I wish you well on your journey to come. I do apologize for the unpleasantness that's going to follow now that you've been fired from Palace. Wait, what? Seek the truth, Omar. This is your time. This is your wake-up call. So you were fired? That is correct, yes. For what reason? What did you do? Well, I missed the deadline for my weekly accounting report. I just couldn't keep up with the work. Well, you'd be regretting that, that's for sure. Can you please describe your dream since your termination? It, it hasn't been great. With what little sleep I can get, all I have are nightmares of being homeless. But it's the worst case scenario of being homeless. The nights are freezing, the rats and vermin are constantly trying to eat me alive, and I'm always starving and dehydrated. It's a living hell. I doubt you'll be getting any restful sleep from now on. But that's your own fault. Anyway, if that's all, you're no more used to my study. You can go back to your cell. We'll re-enter new testing protocol tomorrow. I don't see why not. We've had other D-class subjects fired for similar reasons. This one doesn't seem that bright to me. I don't know why you keep him around, honestly. I'm underwhelmed. That's on a need-to-know basis, Doctor. Above your clearance level. 
That's fine. It's none of my concern anyway. I'm not much interested in D-Class come beyond their influence in helping my research. Send to new D-Class to read more job listings. I wish to run additional tests. Of course, Doctor. 